G6PD deficiency stands for glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. G6PD is a blood disorder that causes hemolytic anemia. Hemolytic anemia or hemolysis is abnormal breakdown or destruction of red blood cells. Episodes of hemolytic anemia can be triggered by illness, infection, several medications, and several foods. People with G6PD deficiency should avoid anti-malarial drugs, aspirin, nitroferontin, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, quinidine, quinine, and sulfa drugs. Avoid other chemicals such as mothballs. Avoid several foods such as fava beans, all legumes, foods and supplements containing large amounts of vitamin C. Avoid artificial blue dyes, no menthol. Avoid any soy containing products such as tofu, no blueberries, no tonic water, and no bitter melon. For a more complete list, go to g6pddeficiency.org. Indications that you may be going through hemolysis include paleness or jaundice. Jaundice is yellowing of the whites of your eyes or skin. Dark colored urine, you may have blood in your urine. Weakness, fatigue, fever, back pain, dizziness, confusion, abdominal pain, nausea or vomiting, intolerance to physical activity, shortness of breath, or increased heart rate. Usually during hemolysis, no treatment is needed and you will recover in about eight days. However, cases that turn into a hemolytic crisis will need a blood transfusion. Doctors determine the need for a blood transfusion in part by lab results. One number they check is hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is important because it carries oxygen from your lungs to the rest of your body. A normal hemoglobin ranges between 13.5 and 17.5 for males and between 12 and 15.5 for females. Doctors start to consider a blood transfusion when hemoglobin is below 8. G6PD deficiency can be life-threatening, so seek medical attention if you're experiencing symptoms of hemolysis. G6PD deficiency is an X-linked recessive genetic condition. What this means is typically males are affected by G6PD, females carry the disease and give it to their sons. Um, there are a few exceptions and we'll go over that at the end. We're going to look at three different scenarios of how parents pass the disorder to their children. The first one is where the dad does not have G6PD and the mom is a carrier of G6PD. Being a carrier of a disorder or a condition means that you have the coding in your genetics, but you don't have the symptoms of the disorder itself. We are going to represent the mom and dad by their chromosomes. So males have an X and a Y and females have two X's. In this case, we will represent the unaffected X with a white and an affected G6PD deficient um, with blue. If the dad gives an X and the mom gives an unaffected X, the result is a female child, no G6PD. If the dad gives an X and the mom gives an affected X, the result is a female child who is carrying the disorder. Not affected by, but carrying. If the dad gives a Y and the mom gives an unaffected X, the result is a male child, no G6PD. If the dad gives a Y and the mom gives an affected X, the result is a male child with G6PD. In this scenario, this couple has a 25% chance of having a female child, no G6PD, a 25% chance of having a female child carrying the disorder, 
25% chance of having a male child, no G6PD, and 25% chance of having a male child with G6PD. In scenario two, the dad has G6PD, the mom is unaffected and is not carrying, representing by a blue X for G6PD, Y, X, and X. If the dad gives his affected X and the mom gives an X, the result is a female child carrying G6PD. If the dad gives his affected X and the mom gives her other X, the result is a female child also carrying. If the dad gives his Y and the mom gives an X, the result is a male child, no G6PD. If the dad gives his Y and the mom gives her other X, the result is a male child, no G6PD. This couple has a 50% chance of having a girl who is carrying G6PD and a 50% chance of having a boy no G6PD. In scenario three, the dad has G6PD and the mom is a carrier of G6PD. If the dad gives his affected X and the mom gives her affected X, the result is a female child with G6PD, having the symptomatology, the hemolytic anemia, so on and so forth. If the dad gives his affected X and the mom gives her unaffected X, the result is a girl who is a carrier of G6PD. If the dad gives his Y and the mom gives an affected X, then the result is a boy who has G6PD. If the dad gives his Y and the mom gives her unaffected X, the result is a boy, no G6PD. That means that this couple has a 25% chance of having a girl with G6PD, a 25% chance of having a girl who is carrying G6PD, a 25% chance of having a boy with G6PD, and a 25% chance of having a boy no G6PD.